health is the most important thing for everybody and uh, many people don't know about it until we face any health issue there are some people who will realize it in advance before getting into you know any problems like that they are smart actually we say right there is a saying like health is wealth so we don't have to say it after getting a disease we have to realize it in advance and we have to prevent it and we need to stay away from disease that's the right way of living actually and uh, the plants trees are there any trees and plants that can help me to stay away from diseases will they boost the immune system can they help to cure the diseases yes there are there are so many trees plants see the nature is like that you know the nature is filled up, filled with lots of love that provides everything we want what we need and if you see our ancestors our forefathers they had the knowledge about the trees plants for what this is which plant is good which tree is good which root is good isn't it some of you may know some of you follow it but i don't think many of the current generation people know about these things somebody might have heard but they they wouldn't have experienced or seen it we hear it now from our grandparents or our parents or we would have heard it in youtube or we would have read it somewhere see the nature has given a lot of things for us to be happy to lead a happy life healthy life to enjoy the life to the fullest but we are not interested in that no we are interested in different thing we don't want to be natural we don't want to live a natural life a co friendly life we are in fast forwarded mindset right in the name of advancement progress we are trying to achieve something we never know what is that something but still will we keep on you know running towards it and we don't know what are we what are we losing in the name of that so called development our health it's spoiled the earth is spoiled the water is spoiled the air is spoiled you know we we successfully achieved the so called global warming we are, we are not able to drink pure water natural water see look at our achievements we successfully damaged the pure air we polluted it nicely you are seeing the news right in uh, delhi it is the peak peaks of the pollution we cannot breathe properly there no in some time so that's why they have stopped like uh, diesel cars diesel vehicles and petrol vehicles they are going to stop soon why to what is this sort of development i don't understand we are advancing progressing towards what to make the earth non livable place is that what we are going to achieve we destroyed the land forest soil earth water and the air i don't know what is going to come in, in the future if we if you continue in the same way without realizing the you know importance of the nature 
how we are destroying it. If people don't realize, if they don't stop, if they don't take any steps towards it to stop, I don't know, maybe down the line, maybe after 20 years, 15, 20 years, we cannot imagine what would be the environment for us to be alive. So, okay, let's talk about uh, our diseases and problems. That is already there, no? Always there. Whatever this is, it's also a little, maybe 5% interested. That's all about health and nature. The rest, 90% or more, we are this side. Develop progress. Change. We are, yeah, we want change all the time. So we are changing the nature itself. Change the land, air, water, everything. So, the nature as a mother, you know, it has given a lot of things for us that treats us like a babies, its own children. But we are not treating it as our mother, you know. We simply say it orally like nature, mother nature. We simply say it. Bhu Mata. Matru Bhumi. But that is giving whatever we want. As a babies, as a kid, it is treating, it's giving everything whatever we require. To stay away from diseases, there are so many plants, herbs, medicinal plants, there are so many things. If you are hungry, there is a lot of food available. If you are thirsty, it's giving water. To breathe, it's giving air, shakti, prana shakti. In a, in a number of things, unlimited things. But we should protect it. And we have to see what are the plants, trees, herbs that are good for me to stay away from diseases, to improve the immune system. Which plants or trees boost the immune system? So what should I use? How should I use? When should I use? See, as I said, you know, our forefathers, ancestors, they were following it. They used to pass it on, the, you know, the information, the knowledge to the next generation. But strangely, for the last one or two generations, maybe more than that, I don't know, we stopped it somehow. And we are sharing the information which is not that important. But we are not sharing the information which is really required about the health, about the happiness, about the ability, mental ability, body, how to be strong, how to face things. We are not sharing the information. We are not educating the, you know, the kids, the children. They were not doing it for the last few generations. So we are losing the information. We already lost a lot of information. So one of that is this. In our Puranas, you know, they mention, right? They mention about a lot of trees, plants. Like you see, people tree, name, Giloy, Parijata, There are so many things. There are stories about it, right? In Puranas, if you have heard, for Vinayak Chakti, when put this uh, Barmuda grass, isn't it? We say, Vinayak loves this, he likes this. So we will keep it in front of him at, the, you know, at that uh, event. Only for this festival. But we never worry about it. We don't try to know the value of it. We don't try to know the benefits of it. We simply use it because somebody told or somebody made us you know, follow this. We are simply following it. And Tulsi. We don't know what to do with the Tulsi. They used to do the productions. And we are also simply doing three, three rounds once in a while, if we remember. Otherwise, even that, it's not there. 
and parents will force us to do the predictions around the peepal tree, neem tree, and then bel bel patra. Bilva patra is there now. Bel tree, isn't it? Do you remember? The parents will take us to the temple, and if you, if you find the trees there, they will make us to you know, rotate up around the trees. Predictions that can be bilva. That can be people tree, neem tree, tulasi. So, what is the meaning of it? Why did they mention about this in the Puranas? There is one more uh, in Sanskrit. The plant name is uh, Atibala. Atibala. You see the meaning of the plant Atibala. Punarnava, one more plant. Punarnava. Our side, uh, they, we, we use that in uh, dal, curry also. We, we make uh, curry with the leaves. That's Punarnava. And then one more uh, plant is a tree, Miletina pinata. It's called in a uh, scientific name, English. Miletina pinata. With its sticks, we can also brush it, brush the teeth. That is very good. Its leaves, we can boil it and drink it like kashai. See, okay, I'm telling about all these trees, plants. Giloy is one more thing. Why? Why am, why am I telling? See, they are so powerful, they are very good for health. They'll boost your immune system. They'll keep you away from diseases if you use them regularly. If you if you have any disease already, if you use them regularly, they'll help you to you know get rid of the diseases. They'll help. They'll cure the diseases. They are so good, so powerful, so useful. They have so many benefits. We simply hear it from our you know parents or grandparents, or we would have seen in the television, or somehow. We everybody would have heard now about this Parijata Pushpa story in Mahabharata about Tulasi, about people tree, about neem tree, about Bermuda grass. There are so many medicinal plants. They are not just there to see or you know just see once in a while like at the time of festival. It's not like that. They are not meant for that. We are supposed to consume, use them. We are supposed to consume. That's when we get the strength, benefits. But you use only once in a blue moon, like when it is Vinayak Chauthi. You will take the Bermuda grass, keep it in front of God, and then you will throw it away. Same thing with Tulasi. Same thing with Parijata. Same thing with Papal tree. Any anything. You don't use it once in a year or twice in a year. You just bring them. You keep it in front of the guard and then keep it one day and then throw it. They have spoken or written about these things for us to remember those, for us to use them. In a lot of places, people make chutney with Bermuda grass. It is that good for health. Giloy, Giloy plant. That uh, everything is medicine in that. Neem tree, bilva patra. Not just the leaf, the entire, the root, the branches. Everything is medicine in it. The fruits that comes from that tree, bell fruit. In north side, uh, they will also eat it, they will make juice with it. In south side, uh, we don't know that uh, we, uh, we can also eat the food. Many people don't know about it. See, okay, I am telling about these trees and plants, whatever. Great. So what should I do? How can they help me to stay away from diseases? Or to cure the diseases? 
see that everything whatever i said the leaves you know you can take few leaves like example you can start with the bermuda grass you can put some you know in, in the water just boil it for 5 minutes drink it like tea just the way you drink tea coffee in the morning instead of that you can drink this 3 days bermuda grass if possible you can drink twice morning and evening and two three days this neem neem leaf on three days people tree leaves just boil it like you know five minutes that's all you don't have to boil it half an hour and all for one person just tea glass of water that is more than sufficient and three days tulsi leaves mm-hmm. just boil them for five minutes and drink it mm-hmm. just like tea that is much better than tea coffee tea coffee are not good for health but these things are very good for health they will help you to stay you know, to stay away from diseases they will cure the diseases they will make you strong physically mentally what else you want they are also available for free unlike this tea coffee sugar that this and all bell leaf bilva patra just boil it for 5 minutes drink 3 days anything 2 3 days so good and then punarnava i said no those leaves also you can boil for 5 minutes and drink like a tea atibala you just search in the google when i am telling the names you can just search in atibala in sanskrit it's called those leaves are very good very healthy very so many benefits in it i am just saying few things only if you search in google about uh, medicinal plants you can get a lot of things if possible you can raise them on your terrace or in front of your house if you have a place you can access whenever you want you can use them regularly entire family can be you know happy after using it not just you anybody everybody in your family should use it everybody needs health right so if you grow the plants trees at your house only you can use them regularly you know whenever you see them you can remember and then drink the air that flows through the trees that you breathe that is also very good for health that cleanses your body mind your house your air your environment in front of your house neighbor's house that powerful they are these trees you know so you should look at the trees the, the nature you know whatever it has given it's like you cannot even imagine it so much of love so much is given to us that's why we call it no like nature is a mother like a mother only it's giving a lot to us you feel no we are the most intelligent creatures right than any other creature why why don't we use it then we can see all these things and we can start good things we can stay happy healthy we can live happy life and also we can let the nature be in its natural position natural shape why should we destroy it and why should we destroy ourselves if everybody is natural if they are living in a natural way nature will remain like that forever and then we can live our future generations will live happily healthy isn't it if i destroy the nature now how can your um, kids or uh, their kids can stay alive how can they be healthy right now we destroyed the earth water also no no pure water drinking water we have to purify it to drink because we polluted we polluted the wash ocean we polluted the rivers <laughs> we polluted the soil air also polluted the ozone also is gone global warming you see a lot of things are happening many people are dying forest house things anything that 
they are getting burnt in summer. In the last year you would have seen that news, right? If we continue the same way after 10 years, 20 years, what will be the situation? See, we are not permanent, we are just here like a visitor or tourist. We have to enjoy and we should not harm the nature, we should not harm ourselves or anybody, any creature. Just stay healthy. We should live a, a co-friendly, we call it, no? Friendly lifestyle. Natural lifestyle. We have to adapt to it. And just use this plants, leaves and all regularly. And then they will provide you, you know, health, good health. You stay happy and then let the nature be happy.